All right, we're here with Matthias Omatola. He is, I, I, now I see you all over the place. Yeah. I, I, I think you're like in charge of getting everything together. Yeah. Is that correct? Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of. I, I've been told, you're the, I said, someone told me that I was the COE. Uh, the chief of everything. I was like, oh, that's above my pay grade. But no, I take care of all events and community outreach for Max on US. So everything from uh, meeting new companies, artists, bringing them together, as well as putting on the whole production. So myself, my uh, cohort, Patrick, who's back there, um, we're doing everything from the roadshow, SIGGRAPH, NAB, and uh, from setup, tear down, we're here the whole time. Nice. Yeah. So you're the you're you're basically the production crew. That's the first one here, last one to leave. Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're the we're pretty much the hub. Yeah. Yeah. So. So there's been a bunch of really good presentations. We're day two, day like two. just starting day two. Mm, it's like day <laughs> nine for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, how, how, how's everything been going? Um, actually, surprisingly better than expected. Oh, you so, shouldn't have said that. Nah, nah, yeah, right. Better, better than expected. Knocking on wood. Um, so uh, when we got here, I mean, in the first day is always a little bit slow, or at least we think it is. And first off the gate full crowd and that was live audience so yeah. people like come here out of all the booths they come all the way to the back of the hall they sit down and then they're right into trevor carter's presentation yeah. and um yeah it's been non-stop if you take a look out there now it's spilling into the aisles yeah i, so. I feel like you know especially in the past couple of years uh, with the addition of the uh c40 light in yep. adobe you know in uh, after effects like just the max on cinema 4d crowd has gotten exponentially bigger no definitely definitely i mean we're streaming live on c4dlive.com yeah. and we have you know sometimes we'll have over 1300 people there but we'll have over 30,000 globally so we'll it gets it gets pretty crazy and then uh yeah definitely since 2013 i remember i presented in uh, on the Adobe stage, it was like, yeah, this is a game changer. It changes everything when, when I was talking about uh, Cineware and um, C4D Lite. And uh, slowly but surely, people still don't know that it's in there. I know. I know. I, 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 I found that a lot. Like, I'll be talking to friends who are big After Effects users, and I'm like, yeah, no, you've got this. You've got yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> Use and it. it. And it's powerful, too. Yeah. I mean, I have, I have a whole little, uh, you know, when I do my demos and I, I show people, I'm like, no, you can actually do a nice little motion graphics whole sequence, not using any plugins, anything else, and it's right at your fingertips. They're like, really? And I'm like, it's free. It's already yeah. included. You already have it. And yeah. so it's just a learning curve. You know, I think people are so used to doing what they're doing that they come here and then they get inspired and then they go learn one of the 50 things that yeah. they've done and then over the years it catches up so yeah. yeah i feel like there's also so many different ways to do the exact same thing we were watching uh uh david Ariev's yep. yesterday and you know he was using the brush tool and i normally just go into the whole sculpting stuff yep. and like it's basically the same thing but yeah anyway so uh you've seen all the presentations so far i have yeah oh any anyone uh sticks out to you well, is I, your favorite no there's different flavors you see me i'm a vfx guy so david Ariev, his stuff i loved yeah. uh trevor kerr if you yeah. guys haven't those those are kind of my personal because I'm like I want to blow stuff up yeah. and I want like I want VFX and I want sci-fi. You uh -huh. give me that and I'm a happy man. Yeah. Um, but there's so, something for illustrators uh, like Allison House. Her stuff is really great. So I know a number of illustrators and you know traditional Photoshop 2D people mm -hmm. that are looking to like okay, well how can I start using 3D? Everybody's talking about it. Uh, the VR stuff. Casey Hupke, yeah. uh, Joshua. Um, even Dan Pierce, he just did his whole titles design thing. So there's something for everybody, and that's one of the things when I'm looking at artists is where we have range. We have medical uh, animators like yeah, uh, yeah. medical animators. Yeah, so I we saw have them Thomas last Brown. Year. The ones and, yeah. last year were great. Yeah, so we have Thomas Brown back. We have uh, also Graham Johnson, who's developed an amazing molecular uh, program plugin. So there's some for everybody. So yeah. I can't really say because I'm like, well, what do you like? Yeah. I can tell you who to, who yeah. to watch depending on who you like. But for me, those two guys were the thing. I mean, but Jeremy Cox and Imaginary Forces, come on. Yeah. I mean, you can't lose. Yeah. The lineup, I made sure everybody here is like people we want to see. So are you in charge of putting the lineup together? Yeah, I'm, I'm with So you. you're who we need to talk to about. <laughs> No, no, definitely, yeah. So if because one of the things is we are always looking for you know new artists. Um, we we launched. Uh, you, you see it on our Facebook, but we're actually asking people to send us information. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, we sent our artist, stuff in. Okay, yeah. So we were always checking it out, and then we'll start categorizing like, oh, these people are more VFX heavy. Mm -hmm. These people are more you know title design. So then we have that, and then of course depending on priority or like socially how active they are and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So we get a we get a little bit of a beat. But so far. Um, 
I mean, and then of course you have to be able to get along with the crew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like we're a family. I, I asked Paul about this earlier, and you know, we've seen a lot of third-party renderers. Yeah. You know, uh, Trevor using oh, man, the so many Ar I, yeah, Tr uh, Trevor using Arnold, and we got a couple of Octane guys. Uh, any thoughts on some of the the GPU rendering and the the standard renderer, physical yeah, no, renderer? Definitely, any definitely. I mean, it, well, number one, it, GPU renderer, everybody's loving it because no, what can you? What's more? What's more valuable than time, right? Yeah. So if you can cut your time in half by adding, a, you know, a new card, you grab another card, and you cut your time in half again, I mean, it becomes priceless. And when people are telling me, like, yeah, you know what, I spent, you know, ten grand, but now my renders are pretty much real time. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, that's worth the ten grand, no problem. You can make yeah. that back right away. So I do think, you know, GPU is the way to go. I think that's just what we're seeing, and that's why we keep hearing it from our artists because that's something that keeps coming up. But also, you don't have to have it. That's the whole thing. If you, you have options like, once again, C4D Lite, you can be using standard and physical and do it, you're getting great results, but then you're just dealing with time. But yeah. I think GPU definitely, it's, it's just something we're seeing. You're yeah. just getting more bang for your buck. Yeah. Uh, anything new out of can you tease anything about R18? Um, yeah, it is the version after R17, and, it, and it's it's a linear increase. Yeah, no, I, I can't I can't talk about that. But it, I mean, it's always in development. There's always features that people are looking at, the, the demanding. You know, everybody's mm -hmm. demanding stuff, and then it always comes to the Germans and. Uh, you know, it's like it's a it's a massive equation of who's available. Always to down to the Germans. Yeah, so <laughs> Germans. Yeah, no, but it, it's great though because we do have um, we have feedback coming from the community all the time, and they. I mean, we haven't gotten this far because they're not good. We've gotten this far because the, the stuff they develop is rock solid. Um, they, they put in an amazing amount of hours of work and they give us the tools that we want. And then we also have our amazing community of plugin developers that are enhancing whatever features are already out there or creating new ones based on what they've developed. So um, no, it's always hats off to them because we get to do what we do and love yeah. because of it. But yeah, as far as features, they can't pinpoint anything that's, you know. Is there anything in particular that you would love to see uh, uh, coming in Cinema 4D. Anything uh, that, that you've always felt like, man, if it could just do this. Well, like, I know with 3DS Max, yep. I've always been like, man, if it could just do MoGraph, <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, for me, not really, because one of the things is, I'm, I'm pretty much a generalist, so it's always, it's probably already there, yeah. <laughs> and I just don't know it. I mean, there is some UV stuff, and I heard stuff that I hear other people complain about, but it's just things that I haven't really ran into because I, I'm playing within that realm. It's kind of uh, like uh, Chris Schmidt. He's always like, oh, you know what? I would complain about this, but then I find out that, oh, I could actually fix, you know, I could yeah. do it. There's a workaround. There's always usually a solution. The tools are usually there. So I haven't ran into too many things. I would like to see more like fracturing, explosion, VFX oriented mm -hmm. stuff, tracking, like the different things for VFX because that's yeah. that's what I really like but aside from that it's already there um, you know different volumes for like uh, you know volumetrics pyro yeah. cluster you know yeah. stuff like updates like that smoke fire but I mean now with X particles and yeah. stuff there's, and there's the, ways the, to work it in, the Houdini integration yeah. as well and there's Houdini integration so there's a lot of different things that haven't I don't think have been maximized yet mm -hmm. so we haven't maximized completely what's out there to say oh we really have to build it it's like yeah there's things that are right there awesome yeah. thanks man I I appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Yeah.